Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Edith. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Um, great. I'm great. Thank you very much for asking. Okay. And I I knew by yourselves because of your text message that message that you were busy yesterday. Mucho trabajo, teacher. A lot of work. Say a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work, yes. A lot of work. Okay, yeah, yes. because it was the last day in the month, right? The end of the month. Yes. I understand. It's a financial uh, institution where you work, right? Financial institution, like a bank, right? Yes. So, yes, I know that's the most busy day, right? Cierre de mes, o'clock month. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. the, the, the closure, the closure. Closure. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. Hello, Carla. Carla, Hello. how are you doing? I'm fine. Great, great. I'm happy that you are here and you are always on time. Congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Hello, Estela. Hello, Demi. Welcome, tell me. We were worried about you. Hello, Estela. Yulisa, hello. Are you ready? It is Marina, Marielos, Sandra Patricia. Is everybody ready to start? Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, Sandra. Okay, guys. We're going to start now uh, by calling the uh, attendance list. So uh, please remember that uh, when you say present, you have to turn on your cameras, okay? So let me call the roll. Carol Yvette Chavez Reyes. Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín. Estela Mabel. Present. Okay, Delmi, welcome. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Okay. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Liliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. It is Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Jessica El Carmen Vasquez Vasquez. Present. Okay. Um, Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Gabriel Cerra Puerta. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Please, please watch out uh, your audios, okay? Uh, Jose Mauricio Garcia Hernandez. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Kenny Lisset Cuayer de Barrientos. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernandez. Lucía Susana Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present, teacher. Okay. Marta Lidia Godínez. 
Sandra, Patricia, Marroquín Loais. Present teacher. Sonia Evelyn, Iraeta de Gómez. Sonia Evelyn. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Present teacher. Ok. Now, Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Present teacher. Ok. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Present Mar teacher. Ok, yes, Carla Raquel. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Ok, people, here we are. We have a lot to do tonight, but first of all, I just want to introduce the class that we are starting unit two tonight. So we have to do just the review exercises as the presentation of the mission, vision, and the value statements that you are preparing. And I just want um, to uh, give the opportunity now, if you have any question or comment about unit one, exercises or dots. A ver, vamos a dar la oportunidad entonces para que ahorita en este dos minutitos hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta acerca de los temas de la unidad 1 o de los ejercicios que hemos realizado en la unidad 1. Okay. Uh, if you have no questions, we're gonna start by uh, completing one exercise that we have from the manual. It's about values and the application of the values, okay? How people show uh, that characteristic, right? Showing values. So let's go to page 12 in our manuals just to complete these um, exercises. And then we're going to start with the group work, okay? So let's start now. Just let me share with you my screen, okay? Okay, this is the exercise that I'm talking about in page 12. This is on page 12. Okay. So let's read the instructions. Lucia Susena, please, can you read the instruction A? Um, the instructions. Number one. Uh, letter A. Letter A, just the instructions, solo las instrucciones. Uh, well, complete the sentences below with one of, of the values from the box. Okay, great. So let's remember the values we have in the box. Do you remember the values we were talking about yesterday? We were talking about efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, responsibility, okay? So let's see here in number one, for example, is that the example, right? So can you please read number one, uh, Raquel, Carla Raquel? For example, it... mm -hmm. for example, I app how do you pronounce it? Apply. 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 Okay. For example, I apply punctuality when I get to my hot on time. To my job. Job. My job. Uh -huh. Job on time. Job is el trabajo. Era my job. Entonces, veamos acá, cuando aplicamos puntualidad, 
cuando llegamos al trabajo a tiempo, right? Right on time. So I apply punctuality when I get to my job on time. This is an application of punctuality. Okay, so let's see the number two. When, uh, come on, come on, come on, Carla, don't worry. When I welcome customers to the store, I show service to others. Okay, let's write service to others. It could be, right? But I'm using some words that are manners, right? Yeah, manners. But yeah, let's write this one. And then we're going to see if we can apply another, right? Something's happening with my video cam. Sorry. There I am. Mm, no creo que porque esté usando verde, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, we said service to others, right? Okay, continue. Number three, can you please read number three, Yulisa? Hi. Number three. Mm. Uh, mistakes que? Errores. But here we are not responsibility. Okay, okay, good, good. Let's see. It sounds matching, right? Responsibility. Now let's read it completely, please, Yulisa. Responsibility is to accept your mistakes in their consequence. Excellent, excellent, good job. So now number four, number four. Can you please read number four, um, Estela? Okay. As I show uh, when I finish my duty sometime, mm -hmm. I, I show efficient, efficient? Efficiency. When I finish my duties, efficiency. Okay. When I finish my duties on time. Okay. Efficiency. Okay, my duties on time. Yes, because that's a resource, right? Um, we don't waste time. So yeah. Number five, Marcos Amilcar, please. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, five, verdad? Yes, number five. If I suggest a creative solution to my team, I apply. 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 Uh, apply. Mm -hmm. No. Apply. What's a solution? Uh, Don't worry, Marcos. Uh, everybody, please helping Marcos. Yes. Innovation. Mm -hmm. Innovation. Okay. Innovation. They are Innovate. talking about cre creative solution, right? Innovation. Yes. Because it's like a new idea, right? Number six, can you please read number six, it is Janet? When I offer her to a customer, I demonstrate. Demonstrate. I demonstrate. I demonstrate. Mm -hmm. I demonstrate. Eh, no puedo ver las opciones. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Thing is that I have to move everything also. Don't worry. Here we are. Uh -huh. Is it okay now? Uh, uh, 
Integrity. Integrity? Uh -huh. When I offer help, cuando yo le ofrezco ayuda al, al cliente, I'm showing that I'm willing to assist this customer and help him with the, the need that they are showing or they have, right? So when I offer help to a customer, I demonstrate, and you said integrity. Everybody agrees? No. No? no. Tell me. What do you Don't demonstrate you know. when you offer help to a customer? Service to others. Service to others. Okay. Okay. So I think number two can have another one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go okay. and see. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see number two, guys. Let's read number two. When I welcome. Can you show the answer, please? Excuse me? I can. I can see I can see the answer. Right here. The options uh, up. Thank you. Okay, um, go ahead. Mm -hmm. it, it can be respect. Respect. I think it's more respect because you use your manners. Okay. You use your manners and you are making him feel as if he is the more important uh, person in the place, right? More important than you, right? So I think it will be respect. It's also good service to others, depending on the way you see that, right? But uh, I think it's respect. What do you think? When you show respect, Acordémonos que lo que mostramos es saludos, ¿verdad? Y un saludo es welcoming someone. Okay, so good morning, good evening, welcome to the store, right? And, you know, using your manners. So, usando buenas costumbres. Para hacerlo sentir más importante, ¿verdad? O que es la persona... Es una persona importante para nuestra compañía. Okay, guys, we finished this. Uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this exercise? Questions? Do you practice these values in your company? Do you practice these values in your company? ¿Ustedes practican los valores en su compañía y en su trabajo? Sí. Yes. Lizeth, I see your face. <laughs> like, well... No, um... <laughs> only thing in pa patience. Oh, only. patience. Oh, patience. Okay. <laughs> But, you know, I have, I have a feeling that when you ask for patience, then you are followed by a lot of things that make you feel or make you learn patience. Yeah. Así que si pedimos paciencia, yeah. híjole, nos van a poner un montón de cosas eh, bien terribles para que de verdad mostremos la paciencia, ¿verdad? Yo sí que he aprendido en la vida que mejor pido tolerancia para que se me pase, right? <laughs> yeah, but no, this is, uh, you know, with people that they don't show values. Pero es muy fácil trabajar con personas que muestran valores, que tienen un buen comportamiento, que presentan esto precisamente, ¿verdad? Cooperation, collaboration, service to others, um, efficiency. It's easy to work with this kind of people. And it's very difficult to work with people that they don't obey, or maybe they are not honest, right? Uh, maybe they are not loyal to you or loyal to the company. It's kind of difficult, right? So, okay, yes. guys. Do you have any question about the crossword? ¿Se recuerdan del, del um, crucigrama? 
Excellent. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Can you please take a picture and send it to the group? Okay. You can take a picture and send it to the group because I just need to check. Okay. And give you some observations if uh, is needed. Ahí les hice algunas observaciones en la plataforma a los que han participado. Recordemos que hay que procurar mantener la estructura de una oración, un sujeto, un verbo, un complemento, ¿ok? Cuando nosotros eh, hablamos, normalmente estamos haciendo eso, estamos usando un sujeto, un verbo, un complemento, ¿ok? Bien, nos vamos a ir a los grupos entonces, por favor, todos los que imprimieron el crossword, lo completaron, me mandan la foto, ¿ok? Me mandan la fotografía de ese crossword. Bien, nos vamos a ir entonces a los grupos. Voy a crear las salas. Vamos a estar 10 minutitos en los que ustedes van a eh, eh, volver a ponerse de acuerdo, a terminar los detalles y a preparar su presentación. La presentación, acuérdense que va a ser rifada. Ok, vamos a ver. Um, Sí, vamos a, a procurar que sea posible que todos participemos, entonces preparemos que nuestra pre presentación no sea tan larga, sino que sea máximo unos tres minutos, ¿ok? Bien. Solo eh, recordarles algo que en nuestro manual está en la página donde hablábamos sobre la misión y la visión. Ahí están los lineamientos o las características de una misión y de una visión. Characteristics of mission and vision statements. Just to remember, because we didn't read it in class, but maybe you read it, okay? So let me just show you this box, okay? Let me show you this box with the... Um, with these characteristics. And then we go to the groups. Here we go. Okay, so here it says, mission statements should be original, memorable, succinct, related to the staff. Tiene, no, no tiene que ser una copia, okay? It must be original. What, uh, what page is? It's Sorry. page number 10. Okay, page okay. number 10. Mm -hmm. And there we have this box, right? Esta, esta tablita les puede servir ahorita que nos vamos al grupo y ustedes pueden chequear ahí. ¿Es original? Sí. Eh, ¿Se puede recordar? Okay, it's memorable. Memorable quiere decir que lo puedo, es fácil de que los, eh, la gente lo recuerde. Okay, memorable. Sucint, que es concreta. O sea, que es al punto, succinct. Related to the staff, obviamente, la misión tiene que estar enfocada a que las personas logren el objetivo, ¿verdad? Porque tiene que definirse que es un team, right? A team. What about the vision statements? Ah, the vision statements should be about the future. Remember, direction, direction verbs, directional, descriptive, tiene que describir cómo usted va a llegar al futuro, ¿ok? Cómo se quiere ver en ese lugar que usted quiere llegar, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Do you have any question about this vocabulary? No questions? I'm going to create the rooms and please you add yourself to your own group, okay? Vamos a ver. There we go.
teacher, ¿y yo en qué grupo voy? No sabíamos en qué número de grupo es para irnos a, a esos. Ok, grupos. digamos, al, a la sala 1 se va Yulisa con su grupo, ¿ok? Vaya. Bueno. A la sala 2, díganse ahorita, hey, vámonos a la sala 2, vaya, de Marcos. Marcos, usted está con Yulisa, ¿no, verdad? No, yo dicho, estoy con Yulisa. No. Vale, la todos verdad. los que están con Yulisa, váyanse a la sala 1 entonces. Ya no sé, se me fue el avión. Sí, por en qué sala está. Excuse me. Jorge. Ok, Jorge. Sala? Jorge, váyanse a la sala 2 ¿Ah? ustedes. Ah, pues ya se fue. Permítame, vamos a ver a qué sala se nos fue, Jorge. Ah, ok. Jorge, váyase a la sala 2 con todo su grupo. Ahí está Carla. Jorge. ¿Listos? Y ese fue Jorge y su grupo. Vamos a ver entonces. Um, Marta Lidia, váyase a la sala 3 con su grupo. La sala 3 ya tiene a Iris. Y a Jessica. Ah, ok. Eh, Te voy a las cinco. Sí, por favor. Ok. Con todo su grupo, chica. Con todo su grupo. Kenny, ¿verdad? Que con usted estaba yo, ¿verdad? Eh, es el, en la última actividad de la Mission Vision. Es de la compañía. La company. Sí. Lisette, ¿con quién está usted? No, no sabía. estaba con Lucía. Uh -huh. Me parece que estaba con Carol y B. Y quiero ver quién más. Ok, uh -huh. Jessica se nos fue para el grupo, para la sala 3. <ríe> y con okay. el joven Marcos, creo. ¿Con Marcos? Vaya, Marcos, va, entonces yeah. Marcos y Lisette, váyanse. Oh, Lenter, coffee, yeah. Sí. ¿Quién ah, se, sí. ¿quién se eh, o sea, Jessica de quién es? ¿Es de Kenny o es de Lisette? Es, Jessica es con nosotras. Entonces váyanse ustedes para esa sala, porque Iris no estuvo ayer, entonces está bien ahí. ¿A cuál sala con Kenny? Número 3, número 3. Es Kenny, pero sí, Jessica, si sí la recuerdo. Número 3. Sí. Tres. Bueno, yo me recuerdo que estuve. ¿Con quién? Con Kenny. Con Kenny, entonces es sala 3. Sí, todo bien. Lisette estuvo con Marcos, dice, ¿verdad? Bueno, Marcos ya sí, se fue. Ah, perdón. Falta Carol y B. Y la otra sí no recuerdo quién era. Pero Marta se ha quedado solita en el 5. No estaba usted con Marta, Lice. ¿En qué sala está Marta? En la 5. Voy a ir a ver, yo vengo. Ok, <ríe> ok. <ríe> Iris Marina. Váyanse a la sala 5 también. Teacher, si me voy a la 3, vamos a ver 7 en el grupo. Lo que pasa es que estaba Iris ahí. Eh, Iris Janet no estuvo ayer. Y creo que Jessica ah. estuvo de oyente, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, bueno, entonces uh -huh. va a quedar. Exacto. Okay. Delmi se puede ir de oyente también, si gusta, ahí en la sala 5.
En la uh, Vision y Mission, creo que lo compartió Lucía. Sí, ayer lo compartimos. Creo que ya lo tenemos hecho. Pero tenemos tres compañeros más. Ajá, eh, si quiere lo Sería bueno lo que lo volviéramos Lucía. a... Perdón. Si quiere lo repite, Lucía, por los compañeros que se nos incorporaron al grupo. Ah, bueno. Te... Teacher, queremos compartir. Oh, oh thank you. Ahí viene ya. Hola, teacher, queremos compartir pantalla. Okay, Bye. yes, I'm trying to do that. Okay, now you're available to do it, okay? You're allowed to do it. Teacher, este, te, tenemos una estructura, no sé si la puede este, leer. Yuli, ¿y qué más le podemos agregar? Estamos como así a medias. Mission, ¿verdad? vision and values. Teacher, no, no, lo bien. final ya la, ya la presentación. Pero, al final. Show me, show me. Vaya, dice, I am good evening. My name is Julissa Raquel Cruz. I am responsible for cooking, a chef. De ahí, no sé si en el ejemplo ponía de que Lionel Messi era el eh, líder de la, de la Liga Argentina, por decirlo así. En este caso, eh, podría ser yo trabajo en el restaurante Doña Laura o algo así, o, 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 o cómo podría ser esa parte. The department that you are in charge of. Remember that you have to use the vocabulary that you learn in unit one. For example, if you say, I am Yulisa Garcia, okay? And I am a chef. I work for Doña Laura Restaurant. I'm in, I'm in charge of managing the um, kitchen staff, right? Algo así, right? Dígamelo en español. Not Spanish. <laughs> Not Spanish, Julissa. Hey, come on. Teacher, lo último, no lo entendimos. Lo último. I'm in charge okay. of managing the kitchen staff or the kitchen personnel, right? Because she is the chef. She is the leader del area de cocina. Okay. Yes, you manage. Oh. So I uh, am. I'm in charge of managing. Nice to meet you. I am responsibility the cleaning with the restaurant. Okay, responsible okay. for cleaning, right? Responsible for cleaning the restaurant area. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice gerente, teacher? Manager. Manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. Yes, yes, you may you may share the screen, but I have to go to assist another group. So please continue working in this, and I will call you when the time is off. Okay. 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 Hello, Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar, ¿con quién estaba trabajando ayer?
y valorar las cualidades del prójimo y sus derechos, o las cualidades de otros y, y, y sus derechos. Este es para respect. Ajá. Está muy largo, ¿no? <ríe> Entonces haga, hagámoslo así. Entonces, veamos. Podemos poner reconocer, aceptar y apreciar. O, oh, ah, no, reconocer, aceptar y valorar las cualidades de, otro, de otros. Uh, hello, girls. Oh, hello. Teacher. Can you try to hello, say that teacher. in English? ¿Qué dijo Pichel? <risa> ¿Qué se está intentando? ¿Qué? Ajá, to say those words in English. In English. Use your yes. vocabulary, ¿ok? Ok. For example, to recognize, to value, right? Okay. ¿Es it ok, Marta Lidia? Me perdí, teacher. Ok, to recognize, reconocer, to recognize. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What other word were you saying? Try to say that words, uh, those words in English. Okay. Recognize. To, to, to value. Valorar, to value, right? La opinión, pues, de... Opinions, yeah. Opinions. Of the other person. Okay, great. Continue, people. You are doing a good job. Just try to use your vocabulary, okay? Okay. Let's pick. And the last is... Satisfying. Satisfy. 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 That satisfied customer. Satisfy. 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 Customer. Vision. A vision to be recognizing. For you, re... ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Vamos a ver. Ajá. Reco... Recon... Recognize. Recognize. ¿Cómo? Recognize. Recognize. For you... Recognize. For all flower, flower and quality, flavor and quality, flavor. Yes, flavor, flavor. For your flavors and quality. Ya casi nos vamos. Responsible for general. Which 
Y esa palabra sí es príncipe. 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 Uh, no. Príncipes. Es con S al Plus. final. Ajá, y L antes de P. Plus. Ah, okay. After P. Uh -huh. Que es principios. ¿Qué? Okay. Principios. Me refiero no, a principios. Ajá, principios, creo que lo dictó. Ah, ajá. Principal. Principales. Se escribe. Ajá. Él es. Bless you. Okay, people, I think we're having enough time for all the groups to present, okay? So don't worry, you are going to present, but take only three minutes maximum, okay? And I'm going to uh, leave the time for Guadalupe's group, okay? Guadalupe's group, it's <laughs> yours here, okay? Menos mal le dije que ojalá no nos tocara. <risa> la cuestión es que todos van a pasar. Sí, okay? sí, sí, va a compartir. Comparte la, la presentación, porfis. Please, please. Ok. Usted puede compartirlo. There you are. A ver, ¿quién, quién de su grupo la tiene? Ahorita vamos a ver. Okay, there you are, Guadalupe. Thank you very much. Eh, voy a comenzar yo. Otra Pero igual tenemos que leer eso, ¿verdad, teacher? No, necessarily. That's just the directions, the instructions. So no, it's not important. You you may start with your own presentation. Ah, ok. No quieren estas las niñas. Espérame, espérame. No, esa la, ya la leímos todos, Guadalupe. Así que ahorita usted presenta las de su compañía, ¿ok? Ok, ahí, teacher. Ok. Eh... Julissa, usted iba a comenzar o yo? No sé de qué forma. Sí, vamos. Todo, yo voy. No sé, si al final todas vamos a pasar, Patricia. Sí, todas. Ya se, eh, no se repartieron su, su contenido. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Julissa, please tell us about your mission. Ok. Good night. 
Restaurant Don, Doña Laura Mission offer to healthy in good to quality food that satisfies customers. Ok, Yulisa, vuelva a empezar y se presenta usted y luego nos habla de la misión. You introduce yourself and talk about the mission of your company. Ok, good evening, my name is Yulisa Raquel. Um, my uh, mission in company no, is... I, I am the chef, as you were saying. <laughs> Usted era la chef, Ay, no, right? Sí. Oh, Nosotros lo habíamos sí. dejado eso de último. Es que lo habíamos dejado de último. No, 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 no. La idea es que esa es su presentación, es su introducción personal y luego me habla de la misión, right? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. um, good evening. My name is Julissa Raquel Cruz. Um, I am responsible for cooking a chef. And lady in the kitchen, I am for work in restaurant Doña Laura. Our mission is offer to healthy and good to quality food that satisfy customers. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Elisa. Now you uh, tell another uh, member of your group to t t tell us about the vision. Okay, ¿quién va a hablar de la visión, chicas? La visión. Yes, please. Okay. Me presento también, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Okay. Good evening. I am Carla. Nice to meet you. I am responsibility for the cleaning. Muy bien. Esto, ¿no que me dijo? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Ok. <ríe> eh, otra vez. Good evening. I am Carla. Nice to meet you. I am responsibility for the cleaning restaurant area. In, in the vision company is to be, ahí teníamos dudas con, con esa pronunciación, recognize. Excellent, recognized, recognized. Uh -huh. for for all flavors and quality at a, a national and international level. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Guadalupe, please talk about the core values. Um, good, uh, good evening. My name is Guadalupe Salazar. Y I am responsible uh, manager and restaurant Doña Laura. Uh, Cor Balúez, Rehabilitate Innovation. Rehabilitate, rehab, rehab. What do you want to I mean? What do you mean about reha rehabilitate? Hola, hola. Uh, what do you mean saying rehabilitate? Rehab. Confiabilidad, confiable. Uh, no, that's not the correct word. The correct word will be like. Uh, um, confidence or trustability or a different word, but not rehabilitate. This is como rehabilitación, okay? Uh, yeah. Pero en el pero en el traductor sale fiabilidad, confiabilidad. <laughs> <laughs> Por eso le pusimos así. Oh, okay, but. No, eh, ya, esa es una de las razones por las que yo no aconsejo que usen un traductor, sino que vayan y busquen los valores o las, el vocabulario que estamos viendo en clase, ¿ok? Para que no sí. se pierdan del de significado, ¿verdad? Sí, pero como yo quería expresar que era el restaurante 
que, o sea, mostrar confianza como un, como un valor, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. por eso busqué y me salió eso. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Vamos a buscar exactamente cuál es el concepto que usted quiere dar, ¿ok? Uh, y luego yo les digo. Recuerden que para una misión utilizamos un infinitivo. Al principio ustedes decían offer to. Es al revés. To offer. Ok. To offer. Ok. Acordémonos de ese orden del verbo infinitivo. Offer to. Mm -mm. To offer. Healthy and uh, so and so. Right. Ok, people. Now the time is for... Uh, it is Janet, Jessica del Carmen, Kenny Lisset, Lucía Susena, Marcos Amilcar, Marielos Janet, and Sandra Patricia. Okay, guys, I think this is the most numerous uh, group, but I think you are going to do a good presentation. Come on. It's your time. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening, guys. My name is Iris Barrera. I work in City Hall El Rosario. Uh, I am charge of customer services in the tax taxes area. Mi presentación. Mm. No sé qué. Quiero eh. ver la opción, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Hola. Es el hall. Es. Bright ball. Es hall. Sí, no. 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 Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, uh, thank you very much, Iris. Now, continue, guys. Okay. No se repartieron el, el contenido. Vaya, entonces vamos a decir. No. Kenny, tell us about the mission of the city hall in El Rosario. Okay. Uh, good evening, teacher and guys. Uh, my name is Kenny Cuellar. I am a comp and I am responsible for general financial report. Uh, register the account, sales and buys the company in the city hall <laughs> and the city halls in Rosario. The mission is to be an institute with values and principles at the uh, receiver of the commun community mm. thank you uh, Kenny continue Lucia okay uh, good evening my name is Lucia our company is City Hall El Rosario uh, I share for the family studies registry and I responsible for registering in, in birth, marriage, death, divorces, and sending information to the RMPN. And our mission is to become an institution that manages the development of 
or community. Continue, continue my partner. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lucia. And now please continue. Uh, who's going to say something? Marcos, Marielos, and Sandra, the values, please. Good evening. Um, excuse me. Good evening. I am Sandra Loais. My company is City Hubs and Rosario. I am an assistant. My immediate boss is the general manager. My responsible are answering the phone, customer service, dialing with supplier. Value, values, number one, responsibility, responsibility God, judgment and the ability to act correctly and make decision on you all. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Marielos Erazo. I am audit assistant. I am responsible review the fine, fine financial information on the companies. Uh, values, integrity, honest, honesty, and the ability to do or can you know what is moral, right, honest, and fair. Fair. Thank you. Con, continuam. Okay, Marcus, please uh, open your mic. Se nos fue Marcos. Se nos fue Marco. Marcos is gone. Okay. Okay, people. So we have only one more. Um, yo, yo, yo lo digo, teacher. Okay, please, please. Okay. Uh, good night. I am auditor staff and I am responsible to check checking reports and calling clients. Uh, the values, uh, the number three, respect, polite be, beha behavior to someone, especially because the person is older and more impact than you. Okay, important, right? Important. More important than you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, people. So now we are going, uh, you may stop sharing, please. Stop sharing, Marielos, thank you. Thank you very much. Bien, vamos a dejar a los dos grupos para el día de mañana. Ok, el grupo de, eh, sería, el grupo de Estela y el grupo de Julio César, que sería Lisette del Carmen, ok, Marta Lidia, Iris Marina, se ponen, sí, les queda todavía el chance, ¿verdad? De ponerse más de acuerdo y todavía la responsabilidad de verse más bonitos, ¿verdad? Bien, una observación a todos los grupos. Por favor, cuando hacemos actividades acá es para que usemos el vocabulario que hemos visto, ¿verdad? No para usar vocabulario e inventar algo que no hemos aprendido. Porque entonces... Eh, forzaríamos o buscaríamos eh, entrar en otra figura gramatical que no hemos visto y eso pues ya sería otra clase. Espero me, me, me comprendan. Bien. Entonces, 
Recordemos cómo es la frase. I am responsible for, if I say the activity, managing the staff. Ok. El verbo va en ing. Ok. Siempre recordemos eso. Um, la otra observación es que los infinitivos es to y el verbo, ok, to offer, to bring, to help, to provide, ese es el infinitivo. Y la última cosa es que cuando hablamos de a quién yo le rindo cuentas, ¿cómo es la pregunta? Who am I responsible to, right? So, When I answer, when I explain that, I say, I am responsible to the, um, we could say the sales manager, okay? Yo le, eh, dependo de el gerente de ventas, okay? I am responsible to the accounting department. I am, the, uh, I am accountable to the um, general management. Ok, recordemos las frases que hemos aprendido, que esa es la manera correcta de decir las cosas. Ok, bien, vamos entonces a pasar a el siguiente tema y los dos grupos que nos quedan serán para el día de mañana. Ok, so let's start with this presentation of the next topic, because we have a different topic tonight, because we are starting unit two, unidad dos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Okay. It's a good time to do that. So let me call the roll. Please turn on your cameras, guys, and also say present when you hear your name. Carol Ibe Chavez Reyes. Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Present teacher. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Ileana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Iris Dianet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. José Mauricio García Hernández. Present. Ok. Present teacher. Okay, Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay, Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Lucía, uh, perdón, Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Present. Lucía Susena Chica de Claros. Present. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. María Luz Janet Cornejo Erazo. Marta Lidia Godínez. Present teacher. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loais. Present. Sonia Evelyn Iraeta de Gómez. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Lizette del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Okay. Okay, people, just let me share the screen with you. Teacher. Tell me. Carla Raquel. Present, teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And people. Okay, okay. They, um, The unit two is socializing. That is the topic for uh, the unit two, the general topic. The idea here is to talk, to learn how to talk about the events that we have in our uh, jobs, for example, trainings, seminars, and talk about um, our company with the people who attend these meetings or these events, okay? So we are going to learn to use questions and answers, okay? So we uh, studied the company identity to know how to talk 
in these seminars and these conferences that we go um, in certain times, okay, or with the regularity that we do this in our companies. And also, um, we are starting socializing to apply that vocabulary. So let's talk about oh, yeah. the industry vocabulary. Industry vocabulary. This is the first topic of unit two. Industry vocabulary, okay? Um, today is our video conference number six, and we have a feedback. Which, I'm sorry, guys. Um, please watch out your audio. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So then we have, um, some uh, conversations that we want to learn and uh, to use this vocabulary that we are going to learn how to talk about the industry and introduce this vocabulary in our conversations with people right with people in our companies and and this kind of events and we are going to learn some vocabulary the vocabulary of industrial things okay industrial uh, fields and the objective the objective is that you use the information about the company's expertise, the industrial classification and where the company operates, okay? Where your company operates. It means not only the place, but the field where your company work, okay? Where, uh, um, where they produce, they manufacture, right? Or they are in okay so let's start then let's start with this um information that we want to know okay let's remember that when we talk about expertise expertise es como a lo que se dedica verdad de lo que el, el objeto principal okay la experiencia la eh, especialización de su compañía, okay? For example, we can talk about different companies. Podemos hablar de diferentes compañías, pero pensemos también al aprender este vocabulario, la compañía a la que nosotros pertenecemos, okay? Entonces, vámonos al manual, okay? In our manuals, we have on page, I think it is 19, We have in, uh, some introductory questions, okay? Some introductory um, a situations that we wanna think of. So let's think about that first. Let me share the screen with you for you to read this question. So the first question, the first question, uh, do you often attend seminars? Do you often attend seminars? Lisa, do you often attend seminars? Kenny, do you often attend seminars? Sorry. Okay, uh, Lisa, tell, tell us. Eh, la pregunta es con qué frecuencia atiende seminario, ¿verdad? Uh, si usted atiende seminarios a menudo. Nearly ever. Okay, thank you very much. So now let's see, um, Kenny, do you often attend seminars? Mm. Mm. No, mm. never. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Mauricio, do you often attend seminars? No, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see, uh, Jorge, do you often attend seminars? Yes, in, in occasion. Occasionally, okay. Occasionally. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Uh, Ileana Carolina, do you often attend seminars? 
No, never. Okay, thank you. It is Yannette, do you often attend seminars? No, teacher. Okay, no, I don't, right? No. Okay, thank you very much. Estela, do you often attend seminars? Not necessary seminars, but okay. we have course. Courses. We have course. Courses. Uh -huh. okay, okay, you have courses like a, spe a specialization or training courses. A specialization, but uh, different uh, topic because we have about, uh, uh, I don't remember the name in English. <laughs> okay, say it in Spanish. Gestión de proyectos. Okay. Uh, supervision in the in the industry. Okay. Project management. Uh huh. And then. Project management. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, supervision. Uh -huh. And uh, about uh, programs like uh, Power BI. Okay. Um, RPA, etc. Okay, thank you very much, Estela. So uh, this is very important because usually, usually uh, maybe we don't attend seminars like seminars, but maybe we go to a conference or maybe we are sent to have a training, okay, or a specializations, right? Uh, por ejemplo, nor normalmente nosotros um, no tengamos seminarios como tal, ¿Verdad? Pero probablemente tenemos reuniones en donde tenemos algún tipo de training o de entrenamiento en alguna área de eh, implementación de nuevos procesos de la compañía en donde tenemos que interactuar con personas que no son de nuestro departamento o con las que normalmente no nos conocemos, ¿Verdad? Eh, esto que vamos a aprender el día de hoy no necesariamente se da en en este ambiente, ¿ok? No solamente se da en el ambiente de trabajo, sino que ustedes lo pueden aplicar en todas las áreas de su vida. Por ejemplo, si usted va a una fiesta, a una boda, usted va a, qué sé yo, un 15 años o incluso un funeral, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que socializar con las personas que están ahí, ¿verdad? Tiene que aprender saludos, tiene que aprender una forma de cómo expresarse con ellos o con eh, una, una forma de abordar a las personas, right? So this is what this unit is going to uh, be about. Uh, it's not only for seminars, it's not only for conferences, it's not only for trainings, but we are going to apply the content because this is English for work, okay? So let's think, uh, what do you think? Is it easy for you to socialize in events? Is it easy to socialize? In English, no. <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> good point. Yeah, usually when you arrive to a place where everybody is speaking English, you know English, but you have like a limited vocabulary, right? So you say like, uh-huh. Uh, you don't speak, but this is the thing. We need to speak. We need to talk. So mm, we are going to try to be like a little more confident with this topic. Okay, uh, not in English. Ahora, pensemos en español. En español se les hace fácil abordar a las personas. A ver quién tiene esa habilidad acá. O, who is shy? Quién es tímido acá? Vamos a ver, el que no contesta definitivamente es tímido, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ver, este, José Mauricio, is it easy for you to socialize in events? Normalmente, sí. Okay, great. And what do you usually do for breaking the ice? ¿Qué es lo que usted normalmente hace para como romper el hielo? Um, con un hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo has estado? ¿Qué tal tu día? Excellent, greetings, 
greeting, mm -hmm. saludos, right? Hello, how are you doing? Good morning. Uh, how's the weather, right? <laughs> how was your day? So those are phrases that we may use when we introduce with someone that we don't know or we are not related to frequently. Maybe you know the person just uh, by the face, but not by, or maybe you know that's the person in charge of something, but you have never talked to her or talked to him, right? So uh, we have to break the ice to start a conversation. So we have some starters to come uh, to make these conversations more friendly, okay? More friendly. So in the inset, not only in seminars, right? But let's think about this dialogue that is happening at a seminar, okay? This is a dialogue that, for example, Rick and Jack are having, okay? And this is happening starting a seminar, okay? My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Inex Incorporated. What does Inex Incorporated do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. They are in Panama. A ver, 30 segunditos para que lean la conversación. Eh, One teacher, what, what page is in? 19. Uh, 19. Yes, page 19. Here it is. So everybody reading the conversation and I want to see your lips moving. A ver, que se vea que lo están leyendo, muevan sus labios, ¿verdad? Okay, people, so is there any question about the vocabulary here? The pronunciation teacher. Tell me. Uh, uh, one, two, three, the four line, cardboard. Cardboard, cardboard. Cardboard, cardboard. Cardboard. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cardboard boxes, cardboard and, boxes. And in next, Enix is an acronym, okay? So, lo podemos decir así como está, Enix, right? Or Enix. We don't know exactly the pronunciation, así como no conocíamos antes, ¿verdad? Que Avon is Avon, right? Okay, Nike is Nike, right? So, we don't worry about the pronunciation here, but you may say Enix, right? Okay. Thank you, Disha. Okay, and this short that we have here, incorporated, incorporated, okay? Where it says ink, incorporated. A ver si se acuerdan de la película que tiene, Monsters Inc. Right? <laughs> so incorporated. Okay, guys, another question? Teacher, Any, tell how me. Is, how do you say packaging? Packaging. Packaging. packaging, packaging companies, packaging companies. Thank you. Okay, Lisette, tell me. In Spanish, what is cardboard? Carton. Okay. And branches. Branches. Aha, uh -huh. this is the main part here. We have to learn what branches are and headquarters are because we are talking about two things, two things, branches and headquarters, okay? Aquí tenemos a la par estas definiciones. Veamos, branches es el plural de branch, como 
la sucursal, right? So let's read. What is a branch? A branch is a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. A shop or office representing uh, a large company or organization in a particular area. Okay? Es una sucursal, right? O una oficina que representa, un representante en tal país o en tal área, right? Branch. Y le pregunta, how many branches? ¿Cuántas oficinas o sucursales tienen ustedes, right? So, uh, entonces, ¿cuál sería para la palabra para decir la oficina principal? Headquarters. Excellent. Headquarters. Let's read what does it say here. The place where a company or organization has its many main offices. Main offices. Jorge Antonio, can you read please what headquarters is? Um, can you repeat, please? Can you read, please, the definition of headquarters? This one. Uh, my job? No, no, no. Oh, my work? No, just read. Read it. Solo léalo. Just read the definition here. Oh, um, in, in where and the, are the hardware? Headquarters. Headquarters. Mm -hmm. Only uh, or yes, only headquarters. Headquarters. Mm -hmm. Now read the place where a company. Léame ahí la definición que dice headquarters. Okay. Okay. So don't worry, Jorge. Don't worry. We go step don't by worry. step. The, the place where a company of organization has its main office. Offices, right. Thank office. you very much. Thank you very much, Jorge. So the main office is called headquarters. Y tengamos el cuidado de que headquarters always in plural, okay? Always in plural. It's not headquarter. It's headquarters. Even it's only one, right? Quarters. Aunque, wow. aunque realmente pues es solo una wow. oficina principal, ¿verdad? But we call that because it's a military uh, word, so it's headquarters in plural, okay? Now let's talk about the branches. The branches are play, uh, uh, offices that they have in different places, okay? Different than the main office. Representations or maybe the sales, operations, or whatever they have distributed yeah. in different <clears throat> places. Okay, now guys, we are going to uh, say this conversation. We are gonna role play this dialogue. So please, um, let's see here. Julio Cesar, please with uh, Jose Mauricio, Rick and Jack, okay? Role play the dialogue. Okay, teacher. Um, I'm Rick, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inch. In, in. What does okay. uh, what does Inch Inch do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard box for. Packing companies. Oh, I see. Sorry. Uh, lo siento que se me apagó la pantalla. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, does Inex how many branches? Yes, I do. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the and the, the pronunciation teacher help. Head, headquarters. Como help cabeza. Quarters. Cabeza y coras, ¿verdad? Headquarters. Headquarters. They were in Panama. Excellent. And English, the pronunci pronunciation of this country is Panama. 
Okay, Panama. Panama. Yes, in Spanish we say Panama, right? But in English it's Panama. Okay, people. So now we have this conversation here, but we want to answer these two questions, right? That we uh, may continue um, with the conversation, adding some more questions. So here is the instruction. Uh, it says, what two questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Así que nos vamos a ir al break up room, vamos a tomar unos cinco minutitos para pensar qué otras dos preguntas le podría hacer Jack a Rick, ¿ok? Para continuar la conversación, to continue the conversation. Ok, then let's go. There you go. This meeting is being recorded. Hello, Marielos. I don't know if it is, is available at this moment. Hello. Are, are you alone here? Okay. Um, sí, no. ya para regresar, Iris, creo. Okay, le, le dijo ella. Porque si quiere la, la cambio a usted. Mm. ¿Ya le contestó? Es que ella no, tiene ahorita una no. situación. Entonces, la voy a mandar a usted a otra sala, Marielos, ¿ok? Ok, ok, está bien. Está ok. Bien. Ok. Ok. One second.
empleados por país. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, How teacher. are you doing here? Uh -huh. let's, remember, no, no. let's remember the phrases. How to ask about cuantos, right? If you were saying cuantos will be how many, right? Because you can count the employees, right? So you may say, how many employees does your company have, right? Okay. I mean... How many? How many employees for a country? How many employees in, for example, in Argentina? Si lo ponemos por, por país. Exacto. Okay, um, remember I, la palabra I. Are there, right? Are there in Argentina. Are there in Argentina? Yes. Entonces la respuesta podría ser in Argentina. Tenemos eh, en inglés how. How many? How many? Cincuenta empleados. Mm -hmm. I know we have, we have, right? We have 50 employees. We have. ¿Cómo se dice 50 en inglés? A ver. 50, right. 50. 50. 50. Mm -hmm. Employee. Employees, okay. Employees. Uh -huh. Vaya, y este, si van a utilizar un traductor, el traductor no les va a dar las eh, frases que han aprendido hasta este momento. Les va a poner otras frases que la gramática de esas frases no las conocen. Entonces les va a generar un poco de confusión. Mi sugerencia es que Vayan a lo que ya hemos visto para que podamos hacer esas preguntas. Por ejemplo, I think you could ask about the reputation of the company or maybe we want to talk about who is the manager, the general manager, right? Or uh, the things that we studied, okay? Las cosas que ya hemos visto, de esas tráiganse preguntas para acá, okay? Okay. Thank you, Chair. Okay, see you then. Continue, guys. I have, I have. This meeting is being recorded. Ang, ¿cómo? I have been. Ang, ang, I have been. I have. I, I have been. I, I have been. Two. Two. Two years. Jerry. 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 In the company. Jerry. In the company. Company. In the company. In the company. No, no, no. Yes, here I am. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> yes, here I am. Yeah, I was hearing. I was hearing and uh, trying to see what you were working on. But uh, my best tip here is that you go uh, back in the manual and review or recall the questions that we learned before, okay? Hemos aprendido bastantes preguntas en la unidad uno que puede utilizarlas acá. Así que vayan y vean ese vocabulario y lo meten acá. No es de complicación, okay? 
Ok. Ok. Nos teníamos ya una pregunta y, y una respuesta y queríamos Tell ver, si, a ver si usted nos, nos hacía correcciones. Ok. Ok. Eh, si gusta, Mariela, lea la pregunta y yo la respuesta. Eh, sí. Eh, how long have you been with the company? Ok. The, the question is correct. The question okay. is correct. Pero esa estructura no la hemos visto aún, ¿verdad? Si ustedes comprenden la estructura gramatical, creo que no hay problema. Ahora, mm -hmm. si no comprenden la estructura gramatical, esa es una clase completamente aparte. Me refiero a que les complicaría, eh, bueno, y entonces eh, en el presente y después vamos a utilizar tiempos compuestos, ¿me entienden? Entonces, uh -huh. ubiquémonos uh -huh. en el tiempo presente. Have you been es una frase ya elaborada, ¿verdad? Pero si la comprenden, no hay ningún problema. ¿Ok? Ajá, porque también sería... ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? How time. No, no. How long is correct. How long is correct. How long. ¿Cuánto Ajá. tiempo? Right? How long. Uh -huh. How long. Ok. Ajá. Y, y luego, este, Sandra, lo de la respuesta. Y la respuesta la habíamos elaborado de la siguiente forma. Okay. I have been two years in the company. Okay, if you understand the grammar, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, pero lo, les recuerdo que lo importante es que utilicemos el vocabulario que estamos aprendiendo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, then continue, girls. El vocabulario. Yes, to practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. sí. Ok, sí, Iván. Así sería. Uh, what is the company? Company, uh -huh. What is the company? company? Vision and mission. Cabal, what? What is the company? Company, vision, and mission. Podría ser. Voy a perdonar. Pero no sabía. Hello, how are you doing here? Ajá. Finish. You have your two questions. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the main room then, okay? Vámonos para allá a la sala principal. Let's go to the main room. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, people. Okay, my dear students. I think then uh, we want to hear, let's see. Let me, let me, let me watch this. Okay, we want to hear Lucia Susena 
And uh, it is Janet, okay? Lucia, Susana, oh, and it is Janet. Please, uh, lo van a hacer. Esas dos preguntas que agregaríamos es como una conversación, okay? Vamos okay. a ver. Solamente esas dos preguntas que hicieron. Okay. Number one. How many personal does the company have? Have 15 employees. Eh, okay. Y la segunda pregunta. Continue. Yes, please. Okay. What are you responsible for? Hi, Lucia. Um, what are you responsible for? Then the answer. The answer. I'm responsible business manager. I am responsible? Business manager. Uh -huh. Exactamente a qué se refiere, Iris? Gerente de negocio. Uh, entonces, I am in charge of managing businesses or the business. Okay. okay. Acordémonos que estamos utilizando un ING después de eh, la preposición for. Okay. Bien. Thank you very much, girls. So, we want to hear... I want to hear, I'm sorry, because this is in the other place. Carla, Raquel, and Marta Lidia, please. Show us your two questions as a conversation. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, who are you responsible to? Responsible is manager business. I am responsible to manage your business. Okay, I am responsible to. To ah, okay, to is it? Uh huh. I am responsible to manage your business. Okay, ahí sí sería is the business, the business manager. Okay, ahí sí. Uh huh. The business manager. What are you responsible for? I am responsible for um, registered document to the accounting system, prepare financial reports and write reports. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much. Remember the ING verb form, okay? When you talk about your responsibilities. So um, let's hear. Carla Maria. Do we have Carla Maria here? Yes. Okay. How many branches does it have in X? Okay. How many branches does in X have? In X have. In X have. Uh huh. Okay, esa pregunta ya estaba ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. o sea, es uh, él quería saber cuántas. Okay. Okay. El number 15. The thing is that he already said it because he says we have three manufacturing branches in the country. Okay? But it's good because you say how many, right? How many branches does Enex have? It's a good and, and a very good grammar, okay? So yes, it's correct. Uh, um, then, Jose Mauricio was your partner, right? Yes, um, the next yeah. question, uh, are you happy to work for Enex? Uh, of course, I am like what I do. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. So these are 
questions that we learned before, and we may also ask about the reputation of the company, right? What is a next known for? And, and to answer those questions, uh, we have to see this conversation at the beginning. I just want you to see, I'm sorry. I just want you to see in the dialogue, in the dialogue, we have two questions, okay? Tenemos, what does Inex Incorporated do? Entonces, preguntemos, uh, el nombre de su compañía, okay? Ahorita ustedes van a, com a completar esta pregunta escribiéndola, okay? La escriben en su cuaderno o en eh, un papel, así X, ahorita, y la van a armar, ¿cómo? What does, y ponen el nombre de su compañía, do. What does eh, Inglés Corporativo do, okay? What does Pollo Indio do? What does Sello de Oro do, right? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. What does Doña Laura do, right? <laughs> but not Doña Laura, right? Uh, the store or the restaurant that you were talking about. So com continuing this, a ver, ya la escribieron? Ahora nos vamos en el chat. Okay. Nos vamos todos al chat. Y ahí vamos a comenzar. Okay. Vamos a ver, todos escribiendo su pregunta de la compañía a la que usted, en, en la que usted trabaja, that you work for. Okay. Please. What? Does okay. Vamos a ver ahora. Escríbanme esa pregunta con el nombre de su compañía. Uh -huh. Excellent, Julio César. Excellent, Marta Lidia. Guadalupe le falta el do y el question mark. Excellent. Uh -huh. Uh Eh, Lucía Azucena, primero iría el nombre de, de la compañía y al final va do. Okay. Okay. Lisette del Carmen le falta el do al final. What does uh, the company do? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent, Sonia. What does Instituto Albert Camus do? Good. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos a responder esa pregunta? How are we going to answer that question? Ah, uh, we have an example in the dialogue. Okay. Vámonos a ver el ejemplo en esta conversación. We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Hay un verbo, ¿verdad? Hay un verbo que indica la acción o la experticia, ¿ok? A la que se dedica, qué es lo que hace esa compañía. Entonces, para responder, nosotros necesitamos verbos en tiempo presente. Ahora, para responder, nosotros necesitamos hacer algo muy importante. Podríamos decir, we manufacture, aunque no soy yo parte de la producción, ¿verdad? De, de, de la planta, pero we me incluye en el equipo de la compañía. O puedo decir, they, o sea, la compañía, excluyéndome no, no por otra razón más que formalidad. O puedo decir, uh, we, they, or eat. Okay? 
eat, la compañía. Entonces, quiero mostrarles así como para visualizar esto, para que eh, veamos así rapidito. Ok. Entonces tenemos, para la respuesta a esta pregunta, podemos contestar de estas tres maneras. Right? We could answer, including myself in the answer, I could answer just the formality, talking about they, okay? Uh, because I'm not part of the production plan, because I'm not part of the accounting, maybe I'm not part of the expertise of the company, I'm just a seller or whatever, right? Or I could say only, only eat, okay? ¿Qué verbos serían las acciones que una compañía normalmente realiza? Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. We manufacture, we produce, we make, we are, okay? O podríamos ver, what does your company do? They manufacture, they produce, they make, they are, okay? Or what does your company do? It manufactures, it produces, it makes, it is. Tenemos que tener el cuidado de la conjugación del verbo en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Si es we y they, el verbo no sufre cambio. Si es it, Recordemos que es una tercera persona y entonces cuando respondemos what does your company do, le tengo que agregar la letra S, ¿verdad? O sufre el cambio como el spelling sea correcto. Manufacture, produces, it makes, ¿ok? Esto es solo para visualizarlo y vamos a regresar al manual. En our manuals, ¿ok? Vamos a dejar esta... Eh, ese ejercicio número cuatro para el día de mañana. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Una, una pregunta. Eh, estaba tratando, y, porque yo en mi mente tenía que la pregunta que iba a ser acerca de la compañía, en mi caso Yamaha, eh, podía colocarla what, what do, Yamaha do. What eh, does y, Yamaha ajá, do. Eh, uh -huh. no, en, en realidad lo puse con, eh, en inglés. De esa forma, do, no das, y me la traducía a la, a la misma forma con das. Entonces, y aquí sinceramente se me fue. Das creo que es para plural, ¿no? No, das para no. singular. Das sorry, es para sorry. singular. En ese caso, el traductor lo que le ha de haber hecho es tomar Yamaha como un plural, como un, un todo, ¿verdad? No mm. necesariamente como eh, it, ¿verdad? Y es lo que me refiero acá en las respuestas. Si se fija, tenemos, podemos contestar en plural como podemos contestar en singular. Pero gramaticalmente la pregunta es, what does Yamaha do? Okay. ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, so let's see, in our manuals we have this exercise and it's very important because I want you to see the fields the fields where the companies work or the expertise. Y vamos a ver ese vocabulario que tenemos ahí, okay? Here we have some vocabulary and let's talk about the product or the service, okay, that the companies offer. So it means that they are um, industry types with the product or service that the, co the, the companies offer. Let's read the instruction. Match the product service to the corresponding industry type. So let's think about the banks, soft drinks, soft drinks, not, not alcoholic, right? Uh, guided tours, guided tours, cardboard boxes, Buildings, mobile phones, medicine, car components, hair salon services, clothes. Estos serían como los productos o los servicios que una compañía ofrece, right? So let's think about the field or the industry these companies belong. Uh, what 
is the industry or the expertise, the industry type that they belong to. So let's think about the banks. Banks. Right. They belong to the finance. The finance industry. 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 Okay, now let's think about the other industries. Uh, let's think about the beauty and personal care industry, the construction industry, the textile industry, the telecommunications industry, the automotive industry, packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, the pharmaceutical industry. Entonces, vamos a hacer un match aquí así rapidito en este último minutito que tenemos de estas de estos tipos de industria con los productos y servicios que ofrecen las compañías, okay? So let's think a company that is a bank belongs to the finance industry. Now let's think about the soft drinks. What industry type do you think it belongs to? Soft drinks. Beverage. Beverage industry. Okay, the beverage, the beverage industry. Beverage. Okay, so it will be the soft drinks. Now let's think about number three. Number two. The, the tourist, tourist, tourist industry. industry. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Herbal boxes, packing, the packing industry. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. packing, packing. Uh -huh. the packing industry okay mm -hmm. the cinco the construction construction, construction. okay the great construction industry mobile phone the telecommunication industry okay the mobile phones will be the farmers Medical. Number seven. Medicine, Medicine. the pharmaceutical in industry. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number eight, the automotive, the automotive. industry. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Car component, the oh. automobile. Industry. Okay. Car components. Automotive. 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 Mm -hmm. Number nine. Hair salon the service. Salon the beauty and, and personal and care industry. industry. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Clutches. Clutches. Textile. 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 They offer financial uh, solutions, for example. Okay. Then, Estoy diciendo qué es lo que hace, but it belongs to, okay, the finance industry, okay? It belongs to the finance industry. Okay, guys, we are off the clock now. The um, session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is um, for Iris Marina. I see Iris Marina is not available, even though she is over there, but she is just hearing. <laughs> A ver, uh, uh, Iris Marina, le voy a hacer la pregunta porque está presente. ¿Se va a quedar a la, a la session one on one o hacemos el cambio? Iris Janet sería la siguiente. Iris Janet está todavía por aquí. Sí, eh, si quiere hacer el cambio con Iris Marina. Iris Marina creo que ya se quedó. One to one. Me quedo yo. Ok, perfect. Perfect, Dan. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces voy a pasar la lista. I'm going to call the roll. Please say present when you hear your name. And I'm going 
in a flash, okay? Please turn on your cameras. Carol Ibet Chavez Reyes, Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín, Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid, Present teacher. Guadalupe Yamilet Salazar de Aguilar. Present teacher. Eliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Antonio Feliciano Rivera. Present. José Mauricio García Hernández. Present teacher. Jose Mauricio, uh, perdón, Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Thank you, Jose Mauricio. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Laura Margarita Claros de Hernández. Mm, Lucía Susena Chica de Claros. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marta Lidia Godínez. Sandra Patricia Marroquín Loay. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay. Sonia Evelyn. Present. Miraeta de Gómez. Okay, thank you. Yulisa Raquel Cruz García. Lisette del Carmen Hernández Mismi. Present. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Carla María Ayala de Vázquez. Present. Okay, thank you very much. So now guys, uh, just remember to do your homework corresponding to the sixth class. It means homework number six. So everybody have a good night and let us meet tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good, good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Have a good, good rest, night. everyone. See you tomorrow. See you. No se duerma, Kenny. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, Delmi. Bye-bye, Iris Marina. Um, creo que Iris Marina solo está conectada, teacher. Yeah, it's just, just hearing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. There she is. Also, then she's having kind of trouble, but yeah, she's in. Thank you. Okay, then here we are. It is Janet. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. How do you feel in the class? Uh, yes. Um, ¿Cómo se siente en la clase? How do you feel in the class? Muy bien, teacher, solo que es un poco más difícil, más complicado, lo siento. Verdad, sí, sí poco a poco va aumentando. Sí, yeah. así es, mm -hmm. así es, voy viendo. Lo, lo que tengo un poco de confusión ahorita, teacher, y desde que inició la clase, eh, no entendí muy bien cuando vamos a utilizar el por, el tú y el o. Ajá. Cuando hacemos la pregunta. Ok. Ajá. Esas son frases ya establecidas, Iris. Entonces... Ajá. Um, voy a, déjeme compartir la, la pizarra. Uh -huh. Sí, creo que en la slide cuando iniciamos, fue en la primera clase. Ok. La situación es esta, mire. Cuando nosotros hablamos de las preposiciones for, to, and of, uh -huh. en sentido completo, se utilizan también para... Eh, Tiempo, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Se utilizan uh -huh. para lugar, pero en este caso es como una parte de toda una frase. Entonces, uh -huh. esos se llaman collocations. Uh -huh. Si usted se ve en el mapita que tenemos en el libro, ahí le va a mostrar que se llaman collocations. Uh -huh. Ahora, ¿cuál es la frase completa? La frase completa, por ejemplo, uh, es B responsible mm -hmm. for. for y lo que hay que entender acá es que we are talking about responsibilities ok mm -hmm. entonces la diferencia va a ser esta, mire cuando utilizamos esto be responsible for 
lo que nos están preguntando es responsabilidades, que hablemos de lo que nosotros hacemos en lo nuestro que trabajo. Lo que a mí me corresponde hacer, ¿verdad? Exactly. And your okay. job position. Because uh -huh. maybe other job positions have other functions or other roles, right? So we need to talk about responsibilities. We use, I am responsible for making calls, mm -hmm. for example, right? Porque es como la manera de que nosotros expresamos eh, nuestras funciones o uh -huh. de lo que estamos encargados. Ahora, uh -huh. tenemos este, si yo le pongo be responsible to, ok, ahí ya no estoy hablando de responsabilidades. Lo que me preguntaría, no lo que yo estaría hablando sería de my chief, ok, boss, uh -huh. or who am I accountable to. Eh, a quién le rindo cuentas, uh -huh, right? Correcto. Ok, uh -huh. entonces esa es la diferencia. Tiene que comprender la diferencia como una frase completa, uh -huh, ok? Uh -huh. En este caso no podemos diferenciar cuándo usar for o cuándo usar to, no. Cuándo voy a usar I am responsible for y cuándo voy a utilizar I am responsible to, uh -huh. ok? I am uh -huh. going to use uh, be responsible to when I am, when I am expressing Who is my boss? Or who is the department I belong to? ¿Verdad? O a cuál departamento yo pertenezco y del cual yo dependo. ¿Verdad? Ahora, el of. El of no es algo aislado. ¿Ok? En este caso es parte de la frase in charge of. ¿Ok? In charge of. In charge of significa a cargo de, ¿verdad? Nosotros en español eh, mm -hmm. solamente cuando decimos in charge of pensamos que estamos como sobre de, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. O sobre un equipo, sobre personal o eh, cosas así. Pero in charge of en, en un sentido general en English is talking about responsibilities too, ¿ok? Aquí usted puede responder. Si usted es el jefe, usted puede responder el área del que usted está encargado. Uh -huh. Ok, si usted es el jefe. Ok, we could say area, we could say department, or maybe, um, puedo hablar también de la responsabilidad principal a la que yo, de la que yo estoy encargada. For example, mm -hmm. I am in charge for, uh, I'm sorry, I am in charge of visiting the corporate client. Maybe mm -hmm. and my, my colleague is going to be in charge of uh, uh, visiting uh, small, small clients. Maybe the other is going to be in charge of visiting, um, Uh, one person, right? Uh, like mm -hmm. personal, a personal client. I mm -hmm. mean, only one person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in those cases, we are talking about like the separation, right? The separation of roles. Even though they are in the same department, they are in charge of different things. Mm -hmm. Entonces, usted puede hablar utilizando in charge of Puede ser del departamento también. Por ejemplo, si usted en todo caso, I am in charge of the customer service area. Ok. Mm -hmm. De todo el área del customer service. Maybe I could say I'm in charge of the floor. Right. I am in charge of the production plant. Mm -hmm. Puedo decir eso. O puedo decir la función principal a la que, de la que yo estoy encargada. Ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces, uh, podríamos decir aquí functions. Functions or also uh, roles. Yeah. Mm, mm, we could say responsibilities too, right? But kind of the main responsibility. Así como la actividad principal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, esa es la diferencia ahí, que aquí no es por for, no es por of, ni por to, es 
la frase completa la que hay que aprender. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Si gustan, nos vamos al slide para verlos, porque existen otras más que tienen uh -huh. to y que tienen of y que tienen for. Entonces, mi mejor consejo, Iris, es que las vea la listita que tenemos en el manual. Vamos al manual para que las vea ahí. En el manual tenemos eh, una, una ¿En buena el, lista. ¿En el manual este, ticha? Exactamente, en el manual. Ajá, exacto, ese manual. En este manual nosotros tenemos por acá una listita de frases que expresan eh, también cómo decir nuestras responsabilidades, o de quién dependemos. Entonces, lo que hay que tener en cuenta, mire acá. Acá están las expresiones, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, ¿verdad? Accountable for, committed to. Aquí no necesariamente to es para el jefe, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Por eso no podemos solo decir que es solo para el jefe, ¿verdad? Para uh -huh. decir, si yo le digo, for es para responsabilidades y two es para el jefe. No, it's not possible to say that. Entonces hay que aprender la, faz, la frase completa. Be committed okay. to, be dedicated to. Esto es para hablar de las responsabilidades, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero si queremos hablar de a quién yo le reporto o quién es mi jefe, de quién dependo yo, entonces voy a utilizar be responsible to or be accountable to. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Bien, entonces mm -hmm. acá teníamos los ejemplos que nos decían, ¿verdad? Mire, mm -hmm. utilizando todas las frases o algunas frases. Mm -hmm. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo que hay que aprender acá? La forma gramatical del verbo, ¿verdad? Que sería con ing después de esta frase. Mm -hmm. Después de esta yeah. otra frase va un ing también. Ahora, mm -hmm. lo, lo otro que hay que aprender acá es que esto es para hablar de responsabilidad, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. De roles. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí. Ok. Then sí. Uh, you could say, what are you responsible for? It is in it. Um, I am responsible um, manager. Ok, lo voy a escribir para que nos ubiquemos un poquito. Me voy a ir a la, a la pizarra. Ok, veamos acá. Ajá. I'm responsible for. I'm responsible for. Uh, un verbo en ing. Is. For. Responsible for is. ¿Usted me dice esto? Ajá. No entra ahí sí. eso. Uh -uh. Tiene que decirme una de sus responsabilidades. Ajá. Este. Atención a customer. Ok, then it will be assisting customers. Assisting customer. Uh -huh. okay. Assisting customers. Okay. I'm, respons I'm responsible for assisting customers. Uh -huh. Ahora, yo le puedo decir, who are you responsible to? It is in it. Responsible to es el jefe o el sí. departamento del que yo dependo. Okay. Sería, uh, I... I am responsible to manager Nancy Gomez. 
Okay. Uh, to Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aquí podemos decir el nombre de la persona o podemos decir el puesto de trabajo. Oye, ahí no necesariamente es un nombre de persona, sino que también puede decir el puesto del trabajo o puede decir el departamento entero, si depende de eh, su supervisor y también del gerente en una línea como dual, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí sí queda ya a, a la situación real que usted viva, ¿verdad? Entonces sería allá, allá responsible to manager and to work this. ¿Cómo dijo sucursal? Branch. Eh, no, oficina, sí, branch. Ok. ¿Sería gerente de sucursal? Oh, ok, to the branch manager. Ajá. Okay. Allá responsible eh, branch to manager. No, no, to, no. I am responsible to es la frase. I am, I am responsible to. I am responsible to. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, they. Branch. 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 Manager. Manager. Branch manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y, en, y pues para tener como un mayor respeto, Mrs. ¿Verdad? Okay. Miss mm -hmm. Nancy Gómez. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes, this is the way to use it in your real life, okay? Yes. Is there okay. any other question I can help you with, Iris? Uh, no. no. No? Okay. 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 Is it everything clear? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All clear. All clear. Okay. Todo claro. All clear. Oh, I see. Es que okay. cuando es mi clear limpieza <laughs> ok, no problem no problem no problem, we are step by step y la idea es que lleguemos a comunicarnos y entendernos okay. ahora yeah. uh -huh. you know what, I'm going to tell you something that is happening here right now I have a cricket right in front of me ok, tengo un grillito que está cabal enfrente de mí and my little baby is saying oh, I'm afraid of it <laughs> tengo, tengo miedo, dice <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah okay teacher okay then. Uh -huh. okay then it is marina sí. Sí. okay then see you sí. tomorrow thank Have you a good night see you tomorrow see you tomorrow good night good night